It's an harvest of interception here at the Idiroko office of the Nigerian Customs Service. The Customs Area Controller, Bamidele Makinde, says two trucks belonging to the Dangote group of companies with about 300 bags of rice concealed with bags of cement was intercepted. He says the trucks were intercepted along Ibishi Road in Yewa North Local Government Area and Lafenwa in Abeokuta, the state capital. The controller adds that the command also made several seizures during the period under review. The command during its intensive and intelligence-based active funding operations recorded a seizure of 3,154 bags of foreign papoid rice of 50 kilograms each, an equivalent of five trailer loads. Another Dangote truck with canon registration number BCH531XA loaded with 228 bags of smuggled foreign papoid rice of 50 kg each, concealed with some bags of Dangote cement along Lafewa Abekuta axis, frozen products, frozen poultry products, 310 cartons, used bags, 16 sacks. The cumulative duty paid value DPV for all the above seizures amounted to 311 million 924,551 naira and 92 kobo only. Speaking further, the customs boss says the command generated 13.8 million naira from import duty and auction sales of petroleum products intercepted during anti-smuggling operations. He adds that the command is also doing well in terms of community engagement and corporate social responsibility in the area of sports as the custom football team which comprises of youths from the border communities and officers of the Nigerian Custom Service got promotion from Division 3 to Division 2 of the Nigerian League. Presently, youth from the various border communities across the state constitute a majority of its players, about 18 of them. Another six of its players are natives of different states of the nation and Republic of Benin, while only eight of its, of its players are officers of Nigerian Custom Service. One of the advantages derivable from the football club is to keep the youth, native players from the border communities engaged so that they may stay away from illicit and criminal activities while ensuring that they earn a living. The command however reassures the legitimate business communities of its maximum cooperation for trade facilitation. From Indiroko in Ogun State, John Felix reporting for Galaxy Television.